it is very easy to look feminine, sensual and attractive wearing like a nice cleavage or a shorter dress, very skin tight outfit. But what about modest clothes? Clothes that are not revealing skin and sometimes not even our curves. How can we still look feminine and attractive in that type of clothes? Watch my video and you will know. Hello my dear viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Malena and in this video I am going to give you tips on how to look feminine, sensual and attractive with modest clothes. There are three kinds of modest clothes that are like mostly seen by me. The first type is dressing in a modest way by not showing too much skin but still wearing clothes that can show off the curves or the figure and styling hair uh, using makeup etc. So that's like the very very light modest style. Then the second type of modest style or wearing modest clothes for me is wearing clothes that is not showing skin but also not revealing too many curves. So clothes that is not very tight, that is a little bit more modest around our feminine curves etc. But still style your hair and use makeup, colors etc. The third modest style that comes into my mind, wearing modest clothes to the degree that you were, would also not style your hair and not use makeup, maybe even cover your hair and of course cover your um, figure. So this is not the style that I am referring to in this video. Here I will refer to the first and the second type of a modest clothes, styles in which you can still do a lot with the actual clothes itself with regard to achieving a feminine and sensual look. So I'm wearing something that is I would say between type 1 and type B. It's a nice sheer material in a neutral feminine color and then I'm wearing a skirt that is basically a midi skirt. So it's not totally long and it's not short. See the dress of course shows off my waist but it doesn't really show off a lot of, you know, our feminine assets. <laughs> if I think about a personality who perfectly represents the modest yet feminine, sensual and attractive style, then I immediately think of Queen Rania of Jordan because uh, Queen Rania has an impeccable style with regard to colors, cuts, combinations. Of course, she, for sure she has a private stylist or several private stylists, but her hair is always perfect, her makeup is perfect and then she wears very beautiful clothes, never vulgar, never revealing because of course she has also to maintain a certain degree of, of modesty in her clothes. But we also see that with other royals. I'm thinking of former Kate Middleton who also has a rather modest style but maybe more tending towards the, the first type but still looks feminine. And there are many things that contribute to this look. So let's start with tip number one. Pay attention to the right cut and style of your clothes. It is about the clothes itself. There is modest clothes that is boring, that is unflattering, that has a bad color and a bad style, maybe looks old-fashioned. And there is modest clothes that has a nice texture, a nice modern cut that has a beautiful feminine color that has a sheer or just a good quality material. For example, you can wear a lot of dresses or midi skirts and midi dresses. Skirts like the one that I am wearing that are not short but they are also not totally long. A midi can also be a little bit underneath the knees so it doesn't have to be as long as this skirt that I'm wearing here and also there can be a totally different cut. You can wear business-like dresses that don't have a cleavage and that are a bit above the knees or below the knees but that are still feminine and if you'd wear that nobody would say wow she's dressing vulgar or too sexy because those types of dresses and of skirts 
they are feminine because skirts and dresses are just feminine and they might also accentuate your figure but they are not showing too much skin and that's the point and if you also pay attention to the colors and the materials then you can really do a lot with that so skirts midi skirts dresses midi dresses another example would be in summer to wear maxi dresses that are like in a kind of boho style so i will show some pictures here with that i mean dresses that are long so they don't reveal so much skin don't need to reveal cleavage but they can be of a flowy feminine material of a nice feminine color that suits you i for example love pink and whites but you might be a different color type. Just pick something that is perfect for you, for your skin type, for your color type. And then the material, it can be sheer and it can be very soft and move with the wind, move with you while you are moving. And this will give you a very feminine and attractive and sensual vibe, although you are not revealing too much skin. If we move from type B towards type A, from the not revealing too much figure to not revealing skin only, is to just wear figure fitted styles. So even a turtleneck like this one that I'm wearing, it is actually figure fitted. The same applies to skirts. So this skirt is not figure fitted. Well, of course it accentuates my waist but I mean not tight around the hips it's not really showing any of my back side and that's what I mean but you can for example wear pencil skirts that are longer they will not show any skin and together with them you can wear turtleneck or a blouse that is closed up to the neck but it is also a little bit of a sheer material and figure fitted and that will look very attractive although you will still be dressed modestly actually if you can pull off and want to show a little bit of your figure of your curves then i would advise you to just pick those kind of clothes that show figure but not skin and as i said if you also prefer not to show too much figure or wear too figure fitted clothes and with figure fitted i don't mean skin tight i mean fitted you know not things that are just too small for you and are just too tight and if possible if you want to elevate an outfit and make it appear even more feminine you can combine the outfit with heels and that's not really something for myself because as you might know already I'm not a big fan of heels for myself because first of all I'm tall, second my feet are really bad, they are not suitable for heels so I can only wear heels for rare occasions but if you tolerate heels and can wear them more often you can combine those modest outfits like the outfit that I'm wearing today with heels and you see that also with Rania she's wearing heels always and also the other royals it seems to be like the dress code and the outfits also appear elegant because they are wearing heels. If you were wearing a mini dress and some kind of big cleavage and then combine that with heels, that will look vulgar, that can look over the top too sexy. If you wear heels with a rather modest outfit, it will have a rather elegant influence on it. And now we straightly move to point number two exaggerate your walk we have talked about this if you are already subscribed to my channel and have watched some of my previous videos and if not please consider subscribing and click the notification bell as well as of course the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and then after this video look into the info box and click on the videos that I link there for you. They will tell you more about walking in a feminine way. Walking influences your whole appearance. We already know that. That's why when you are wearing modest clothes, you should exaggerate your hips a little bit when you are walking. The same way you would do when you are wearing flats instead of heels. 
And that's because the clothes that we are wearing, in this case, modest clothes, it will somehow downgrade our movement a little bit. That means that our movement will not be so obvious. In contrast, if we were wearing very tight clothes and more revealing clothes, they would accentuate our movements more. That's why we have to exaggerate the walk. And in order to do that, you first start, of course, with the basic posture. So you elevate yourself, your head, push it back in the right position, roll your shoulders back and elevate your chest. That will already give you a more feminine and attractive appearance. And then when you walk, you swing your hips. So you just sway them more so that you will appear feminine despite of the clothes that might be hiding or downplaying your hips and feminine curves. I will show you how I would walk normally without exaggerating my hips so that you see a difference. So that's my normal walk without exaggerating my hips. And you see, okay, it's normal, <laughs> but it doesn't really look uh, feminine or especially sensual. Now, when I'm exaggerating my hips, pushing them out a little bit more, and then the outfit, although it looks modest, appears a little bit more feminine, flirty. And that's all because of my movement. The movement and the posture is very influential. But that's not the only thing that you can do. You could also use your movement to accentuate the clothes in a feminine way. When you are, for example, walking or moving in a faster way and you can then just make your skirt swing. So it's not possible with all kinds of skirts. But this one, for example, if I just move a little bit faster or if I'm going to do something or make like a little bit of a, of a turn movement, I can make my skirt swing. And this swinging is just feminine. <laughs> it gives you this very, very feminine energy and that's very attractive. And not only to men, but also to women and to everybody because then you will just be in your feminine. But also when you are going upstairs and you are, let's say, wearing a long, maxi dress then just lift your dress a little bit like a lady from Bridgerton when you are walking up the stairs I always do that when I'm wearing my long maxi dresses in the summer and I always feel like you know a lady when I'm doing that and it's also a very feminine gesture that looks nice and elegant instead of you know just stepping <laughs> on your dress and last but not least avoid stamping and really try to float. So try to walk like a dancer in a very, very elegant way. Don't stamp, don't make loud sounds on the floor. Just float across the floor as if you were yeah, dancing on the dance floor. And as a former dance teacher and semi-professional belly dancer, I know what I'm talking about. And believe me that dancing is the best thing to do if you want to achieve a feminine and attractive movement also in your daily life. Especially when I was dancing in a very intense way in the past, I remember that there were men who told me that I was walking in a, such a graceful way and they were really fascinated by this. I myself didn't notice that, but it must have been because I was just at that time, I had a lot of uh, presentations with my dance group. So I was training so much and I was just that much in this dancer's mood that even when I went to get something from the other side of the room, when I when I ran there or when I went there, I did it in a graceful way. It was also not something that looked ridiculous. It must have been something just subtle that you can achieve when you are a dancer or when you are practicing a lot of dance. So if you don't have a hobby yet 
or are looking for a new one, I can only recommend you to either do sensual dances, couple dances such as salsa, bachata, kizomba or Argentinian tango or if you want to learn a solo dance, to learn oriental belly dance. Perfect! Perfect for posture and movement. And also you will never look stiff or somehow too arrogant because those dances are very natural. They are not artificial, like some ballroom dances or even ballet. We are moving to the next point, point number three. That's styling. So as already indicated in the beginning, styling of your hair and your face, so makeup, is very influential and can totally elevate and support the sensual, feminine and attractive appearance of your outfit. We see that with Queen Rania a lot, with the royals. You just see that their hair is, has always has a nice blowout. If you have good hair, then it's easier than if you have bad hair like I do. So I really would have to do my hair every day in a specific way to at least have a nice looking hair for a few hours. But it really makes sense if you want to look attractive because it will elevate any modest outfit and make you appear beautiful and feminine. And the same applies to makeup. So if you have a nice natural but feminine makeup, you can accentuate your eyes with your eyebrows or maybe if you can have those lashes or you can accentuate your lips and have a beautiful pink color or maybe a red lip. You can be dressed modestly and still accentuate your femininity and your sensuality with hair and makeup. Another tip that you might not think about in the first place is to use jewelry that makes sounds, that makes tiny little sounds and that sparkles. Not because it's also very very nice for us women, we like sparkle and we like jewelry normally, but maybe you remember those tiny bracelets and when I moved and did something like at work or in the office, those bracelets they made tiny sounds and I really like those sounds. And the same applies to earrings, like if you have longer earrings that make tiny sounds when you move. And I don't know, but I really like that. It made me feel very feminine and like a fairy. <laughs> so it's not only for your feeling, but it also makes you feminine to the person you are with because they also perceive those tiny sounds and supports your feminine vibration. And of course, jewelry looks nice. Together with your modest outfits, it will enhance your feminine appearance. Not to forget, one of my other passions, wearing a beautiful scent, a perfume that enhances your sensuality, your femininity, that smells very special, that gives you the je ne sais quoi, this something that underlines your appearance. I've made a playlist with different kinds of reviews of perfumes that I personally find very expensive smelling, attractive and seductive and of course feminine. I will link that also down below so that you can watch if you don't have signature fragrance yet or if you're just interested in fragrances because fragrances also have a very very strong impact of how people perceive you, of how you look because they appeal to our olfactory sense and remember that we don't only have our eyes that see, we also have our ears that hear so voice and those tiny sounds, they are, for example, appealing to this specific sense and the scent of a person is appealing to the olfactory scent and many people are actually very focused on this sense. I'm also one of those. Scents and fragrances strongly influence me and my perception of people. They make people attractive to me even when those people are actually not so attractive by appearance. So, in order to really appeal to all the senses, wear a nice perfume together with your modest outfit and that will make you very attractive too. And now comes point number four that is actually the base for all the other tips that I gave you so far. Number four is the mood. You need to have the right charisma, the right mood 
because when your mood is not good you will not feel attractive and feminine and sensual and you will also not show that you will not project that and no matter how perfect your hair and your makeup and your style might be if your face and your whole body shows something that is not appealing to people bad energy this will not help it will not benefit you and that might be the reason why despite of all those other points that you are doing you will not appeal to people and people won't feel drawn to you because of this energy so how can you change this energy first of all try to incorporate little acts of self-love of self-care in your daily life so even if you have a work every day and don't have a lot of time for you then try to do something for you in the lunch break try to go to your favorite cafe just sit down and enjoy a nice beverage or at work get yourself a very beautiful cup of tea make your environment as beautiful and feminine and appealing as possible use colors flowers scents maybe some nice candles not at work but at home for example things that make you feel luxurious that make you feel feminine and sensual and that can just elevate your mood music is also a good thing so if you can listen to music then do that and pick music that will put you in the right mood because then when you go out you will also project this positive feminine energy and it will support your whole outfit. Another tip that you might not think about in the first place is be flirty with everyone in an innocent way. Smile a lot, smile at people. When you interact with people, no matter if it's a child, a shop assistant, a man, a woman, even an animal, just flirt, be flirty. But you know what I mean, in an innocent way, just smile, just be playful, just be kind. And this will really, really make you the most irresistible and give you an incredibly attractive energy. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as I said, watch my other videos that will support you on this journey to becoming the best, classiest, most feminine and most wonderful version of yourself. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.